Hey everyone, New Hampshire Hobby Logger. Well, it's time for a new concept on our gasifier. I've been uh, thinking of a, uh, a new way of doing things uh, with the gasifiers that, uh, that are out there right now. And I've got a sawdust one that uh, does very, very well. And I thought I would uh, take on the challenge of building another one, similar design, but I've got a different idea for a grate. And uh, that's what I'm going to try to show you right now. It started uh, when I was uh, cleaning out a, a boiler room from a sawmill where they had an existing uh, um, gasifier burning sawdust that they used to, to dry their lumber with. And I ended up with a few of the, uh, the grates. And um, what they consist of is it looks to be about half inch thick um, bars of cast iron, which they... Uh, they were quite a bit longer when I got a hold of them, but I just cut these to size. They're about 10 inches wide, uh, 10 and a half inches wide, and um, they're stacked. And uh, they're drilled with uh, eighth inch holes all the way, maybe they're quarter inch, all the way through. And the concept is going to be uh, that the air is going to be drawn to the rear, to the left side, through the... Uh, uh, from the wood through to the thing, <coughs> boy, um, and we're just going to collect the the, uh, the gas and whatnot from the back side of it. Now this is going to sit inside of a big, oh, probably a big propane tank, probably one of the 300 pounders, like the snowman, and um, it's going to be inside its own uh, housing too. So it's going to be like one barrel inside of another barrel, and then this stuck in the middle of it. So the, uh, the, uh, the idea is, um, I'll point some of this stuff out to you. The idea is that uh, there's going to be a, a feed tube of about a foot in diameter that's going to be up here and it will go straight up out of the, uh, um, the barrel, that the container that's going to be looped around that. And then the bigger barrel, will, that'll be all sitting inside of that to collect the gas. And it's going to be an induced draft, just like uh, all the others. And in fact, I'm going to hook the rest of my original gasifier system that I built as a flash type uh, downstream. Everything's going to be the same downstream, but this is going to be the new hearth. What I'm trying to do is get rid of uh, bridging, and what I'm trying to do is get rid of having to agitate the, uh, um, the, uh, the shaker all the time. Uh, I'll be able to do it once in a while, but I suspect it's going to be able to make a lot more gas, uh, wood gas, in, a, in with a, a, a multitude of, of different fuels. So I'll be able to use sawdust, I'll be able to use uh, these chunks of uh, wood that I've dried out, and so forth. So actually what this is going to do, this plate will be uh, dangling in this thing so there's going to be a triangle effect here. The, the sawdust is going to come down through the through the hole in the top here and this is going to be able to float just like that back and forth as the sawdust um, pushes against one side and as it's burnt down towards the bottom there it'll allow this to, to keep moving back and forth as needed in order to uh, keep the sawdust from bridging right there and it worked really well on the other one. I think it's going to do the same thing here. And uh, every so often, you know, I do, I'll probably have to turn this, uh, this uh, shaker grade a little bit on the bottom here. I'll just give that a little turn. That'll take all the ash out that, that's going to accumulate on the bottom. Uh, what I've also come up with is I'm going to cast some um, refractory uh, bricks on the, for the side there. They're going to be uh, probably 13 inches. They'll start back, back in here. And that's all going to be surrounded by refractory back there to, for, the, for the heat and everything there. And then this is uh, that high temperature uh, rock wool or mineral wool. And it's a uh, thermal fiber, they call it. And it's good for 1700 degrees. So I'll have the, uh, the refractory in here first and then this on the outside. And then I'll be able to use regular um, uh, light plate on the outside and it'll never get, never get hot there. But the air is going to get pulled through. It's going to, this is going to be almost like a wood stove with a hole in the top of it. And I'm going to have primary air coming in from this direction 
and burn through the through it, and the gas will be collected on the back side. So that's the idea I'm going to start coming up with. And um, hmm, this is the very beginning of the the thought process on it. But that's that's the idea I want to. That's the premise I want to work with. So uh, it's going to be a another work in progress, an, another uh, another project, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, We'll see how it goes as we as we go along. So that's it for today. Have a good one.